I think one of the things about the green side bunkers that really frustrates people is that they've heard that it's the easiest shot in golf. And I would not say this is the easiest shot in golf. I'd say a one inch putt is much easier, but uh, this isn't that bad. And what we want to do is just keep in mind of a couple things. Number one is what is the objective? What are we trying to do? When our ball lands in a bunker, we actually are going to get the ball out of the bunker onto the green without hitting the ball. We're going to make contact with the sand that's that's behind the ball. So I want you to think of your of your of your greenside bunker like this. Imagine that you're in a swimming pool filled with water, and on the surface of the swimming pool, there's a a ball a ball floating on the surface. Okay. If you were to take your arm and make a wave and sp and splash water out of the pool, well, if you made that if you made that wave of water right behind the ball. Whoosh, the ball is going to come out of the pool on that wave. And that's what we're trying to do with the sand. So when we're hitting these greenside bunker shots, we are going to be splashing sand out of the bunker onto the green. And that's the first thing that we need to be able to do. Now, I have worked with, I've worked with some people who are, excuse me, I just hit the mic. I've worked with some people who are very, very much lacking in confidence in greenside bunkers. And in one lesson, they can get just about every ball out of the bunker. And that's not because of me, it's because of them, because they, they learn how to splash the sand out. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna start with a line. We're going to draw a line in the sand, just a nice long line. And my goal is to be able to splash the sand that's on the line and forward out of the bunker. So I'm gonna learn how to splash the sand out first. Now in order to do that, my club here, I'm gonna get up here close. My golf club has got bounce on the bottom of it, okay? So on the bottom of the club, if you actually laid this club on a table, the, the leading edge of the club is up higher than the trailing edge. This is bounce. This stuff here is what helps the club glide through the sand so that the sand comes out. So we don't want to square that club face up. We want to have that club face open so that bounce hits the sand first. That's really, really important, okay? Because this way we dig, this way we splash. So we want to splash that sand out. So let's give it a try. We've got our line drawn already, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and, and try to splash some sand out. Opening the club face, that's all I'm changing. And by the way, I'm not just turning my hands this way. I am opening the club face and then putting my grip on. Let's try this. Okay, so we see a lot of this. I made contact back behind the sand. Let's just try to do better. If I get weight moving more forward, that's going to help my club bottom out more forward, right? So let's try a little bit more weight forward. Okay, that was a lot better. Now, I still may have entered a little teeny bit back behind that line, but it's getting better. Oh boy, that splashes, that sand is splashing out now. So I'm starting to get the hang of it. I want you to draw a line in a practice bunker and practice doing this for 20 minutes. Just put in 20 good minutes learning how to hit your line. If you can hit your line with an open club face, that bounce, by the way, we're using a sand wedge. I can't believe I didn't say that earlier. We're using a sand wedge. The sand wedge has all that bounce. If we can use a sand wedge and hit our line and splash that sand, you can get the ball out of the bunker and you're on your way to being a good bunker player. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna put the ball about two inches up ahead of that line. And I don't even have to make perfect contact with the line for this to work. So I'm not opening my stance. The only thing I'm doing right now is opening the club face a little bit and I'm gonna splash that sand out. Here we go. Right out of the bunker. You can't see it, that's not but two feet from the hole. Okay, so when it comes to being able to get out of the bunker, number one, remember you can do it. Number two, put a line in the sand and practice for 20 minutes splashing that sand out of the bunker, okay? A couple little tips on that though. 
if you're having trouble hitting behind the line, which is usually what's gonna happen, it's because part of it might be your, the center of your body is back behind the line. We need to get our sternum ahead of the line, and you can do that by cheating with your weight forward to help splash through there. The other thing as far as the open club face goes is we're going to open up the club face and then grip the club. So as we set up, our, our club for right-handed golfer will be pointing out to the right. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is master hitting the line, splashing the sand out. That's more important than anything. Now we're gonna talk about how to actually hit your ball towards the target. Okay, now from this angle, you can see this is quite a high lift bunker. This is an intimidating shot, right? What a great thing to be able to practice. So we've already talked about, we're just gonna splash that sand out of the bunker, and let the ball just, just gonna, it's just gonna cruise out on a, on a, on a wave of, of sand, okay? Now let's figure out the aim. This is really easy. I want my club face to be aimed at the target. So I'm gonna draw a line here, just a line in the sand, right to that flag, and put my ball right on it. I'm gonna just smooth it over a little bit so I have a nice bunker lie here. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put another line two inches back behind it. All right, now a way to think about this is I'm gonna have my club face for right-handed golfer now. It's gonna be open relative to me, how I set up. So as I'm standing here, it's pointing off to the right. So my club face is set to be open, so I'm gonna point my feet more to the left so that my club face points up this this target line. I hope this makes some sense. So my feet are open. So for right-handed golfer, my feet, my hips, my shoulders are going left. The club face is going up at the target. Let's give this a try. All right, one take. Let's knock this thing up there next to the hole. Splashing that sand. Oh, a little bit to the left, a little bit long, but you get the idea. It was out, okay? Don't be afraid of these greenside bunkers. And just remember, I promise, if you practice, practice for 20 minutes hitting that line, splashing the ball, I'm sorry, splashing the sand out of the bunker without even using a ball. If you practice the skill and then use a little bit of this good solid technique, it's gonna get better. And by the way, all the things that we're working on in these videos are making you better in general skill-wise. So if you're more skillful, you'll have more success, you'll enjoy the game more. So to summarize, to get out of the bunker, Number one, get a sand wedge. Number two, open the club face. Number three, practice splashing sand out of that bunker without a ball. And number four, when you go to hit your shot, your club face will be pointed perpendicular to your target line, but your feet will be open or pointing to the left for a right-handed golfer. One more thing, I did have a question about distance control. And I hate to say this, but in order to figure out how hard to swing and how to get the ball to go a certain distance, it's going to be a, a function of experience. And as you continue to get better and practice more, you'll, you'll learn the sense that the firmer the sand is, then the more you'll be able to transfer energy to the sand, through the, to the ball through the sand, and you'll get more distance. So firmer sand is a little bit tougher actually because you're gonna hit closer to the ball fluffier sand, you have a little bit bigger margin of error. Hope that helps. Just remember, practice a lot, build your skills, you'll become a great greenside bunker player. Okay, here we have our plugged lie. No one likes this. This is a situation where we're trying to get the ball out of the bunker, where you aren't really necessarily trying to get it close. So if I put my sand wedge down here and I go to try to splash this sand out, it's a very good chance that the ball will not come out. So we're gonna try a different technique. And I call this the, the railroad spike technique. I'm going to use a pitching wedge for this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that pitching wedge, I'm actually not gonna open the club face, I'm going to close the club face. And then what I'm going to do is move the ball actually back in my stance. So this is like everything opposite than the original bunker shot, okay? And from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very, very sharply strike down on that ball, very sharply. And from there, this what's gonna happen is the club head will push down in the sand very, very hard. And then hopefully it'll, it'll displace sand and make the ball pop up out of the bunker. All right, so let's give that a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re, 
kind of reformat here that that plugged lie there we go and let's see what we can do here all right tap that down one more time let's cover that up all right so ball is back in my stance club face is closed and i'm going to just drive that railroad spike back behind the ball i'm going to line up a little more to the right because my ball is going to probably shoot out a little to the left let's drive that spike down behind there Oh, oh, it didn't come out. It hit the lip. Sugar. Try that again. This is going to be tough because of this high lip that we've got here, but uh, let's see what we can do. So club face closed a little bit. I'm going to drive that club in there like a railroad spike. Let's see what we can do. Hammer that spike right behind the ball. There it is. Okay, so there we have it. So for hitting those bunker shots, a normal shot, the ball's more forward in your stance, but the big thing is open that club face and splash that sand out. And then when the, plug is, when the ball is plugged, it's the opposite. Back in your stance, close that club face, and drive a spike down behind that ball. Next thing you know, you'll be getting out of that bunker every time. Okay, so to summarize the things that you really need to know in order to get out of these bunkers, Number one, you've got to just put in a little bit of practice time. So draw a line in the sand, splash sand out of a bunker for 20 minutes with an open club face, okay? When you can make those waves, splash those waves of sand out, you're ready for a ball. Put a ball down and just practice getting that ball out of the sand. Once you're able to do that, then what you wanna do is point your club face where you want the ball to go and open your stance a little bit. Then you'll start to get the directional part down. Okay, if the ball's plugged, back in your stance, close that club face, drive a wedge back behind the ball. You'll be getting out of the bunkers in no time.